Hey friends, this is Jess with Virtually Visual, and today I'm really excited because we're going to be starting a character creation series, um, and I'm going to be showing you how you can make characters in Daz and animate them really easily there. I think it's one of the best programs for that. Uh, I've just been blown away by it, honestly. And then we're going to be taking that character into Cinema 4D and adding some hair, and we'll also be making some clothes in Marvelous Designer. So I'm super excited. I hope you guys can learn something from the series, maybe a technique or something that you haven't done before. And then I also just want to give credit to Aphoria uh, for his amazing Domestica class. Uh, I took that a little while ago. Uh, he's one of my favorite artists and I have never, I had never made character work at that point. And then he really inspired me to start and uh, I was just kind of blown away by how, how much easier it was to do than I anticipated. So. Had to give credit there. Definitely recommend you try the course for yourself. It's super fun and very worth it. Um, and it's not expensive. So I think it's it's definitely worth it if you're willing to learn. Uh, but yeah, let's get started. If you haven't used Daz before, this is what their website looks like. And you can just hit get started for free and then fill out this info and you can get a link to download Daz, uh, the software. And down here, this little DS icon is what that should look like when you get it all up and running. Uh, there will also be an installer manager. If I type that, um, Daz install manager is probably what you'll get first and you'll have to open and uh, you'll sign in and use that to get all the necessary files before you actually start the software. So um, there are two things there. Uh, there's not just one, so pay attention to that. Um, and another thing I want to mention is their shop because when I took Aphoria's course on character work, um, he showed these things called morphs and um, the morphs, well, let me type, let me type shape morphs. I'll just type shape morph. Um, so you may notice like this head shape one is a good example or some of these characters or like nails. <clears throat> Essentially in Daz, when you're making characters, you have all these sliders for custom options, like how thin you want someone to be, how um, emaciated, how uh, bodybuilder uh, muscular you want them, how what eyebrow shape you want, how high up you want the brow bone to be. Like there's literally endless options. Um, and some of that comes from like you can get extra options by purchasing shape morphs. So I purchased, um, I don't know if I'll be able to find it here. Maybe if I type some of these things, I purchased some body morphs. I will link the ones that I purchased in the description because Aphoria was the one who pointed them out. I just wanted to make sure I mentioned this because Daz has custom options, but you can get more customizable features and sliders for your characters if you purchase different things through their store. Um, so let's open Daz and I'll kind of show you that as well. Okay, so we are in Daz and I'm not sure if it always opens the content library on default, but for you, you will not have anything in here if you're a first time Daz user. These are just my different project files. Um, and something that maybe I'll point out here, um, I don't know if it's under navigating this at first was definitely very confusing. I did not understand um, how to find anything. It's not very user friendly, but um, if you're in the content library and you, and also I think it's a terrible design that when you click on a folder, you don't just automatically see the folders that are inside here. You have to click this drop down and then you see stuff. I think that's terrible. <laughs> that's really bad user design, but Anyway, um, if you go to people, you should have Genesis, I think you should have these in here by default, uh, these different uh, numbered models. And obviously the higher the number, the more updated and like latest they are. But I always use Genesis 8 because there's also a lot of options in the shop for these. But um, these are just your base models. So if we click on Genesis 8 basic mail, it will load that into our scene and this is our basic mail. I'm also going to go to smooth shaded. And so by default, this is what Daz characters will look like. And right off the bat, before we change anything, I just want to show you that one reason why I love Daz is, you know, you may notice that as I move my mouse over all these pieces that they light up yellow. And that is obviously the components of the body that we can drag around and change. 
uh, position. And I don't just mean that you have to click on a piece and you get the gizmo. You can move stuff this way. Whoops. Um, like you can do this. But the other nice thing is you can literally just drag things around and it's already like rigged. Isn't that amazing? Like he moves with what you do and it looks very realistic. So I just think that's a really nice feature. Uh, it makes animating so much easier for me uh, than having to click, like go into the structure, find the bone that I need and then do all the rotating and transforming. So that's one thing that I just, I love Daz for that now. Now that I know how to like find things, it's, it's much easier to navigate, but let's focus on the customizing first. So we have this male character and you probably are also on the parameters tab when you're in here first, which there's so much to look at. So it's a bit overwhelming, but um, if you see, there's also this tab called shaping. And if we click on that, you won't have these in here unless you've bought that uh, from the shop, but you'll probably have these like body size, body tone, but like all these are sliders for customizing. And you also have a menu on the sidebar here where you can click into each and you'll also have individual hundreds of sliders for things that you can change about your character. So um, I'm going to go back up to actor. And this is the reason why a lot of people buy shape morphs because there will be like HD details that you can add. Um, and let me actually also go to back to parameters and this one called mesh restraints or res mesh resolution, sorry. And I'm going to take this up to three just so that while we're um, shaping, you can really see what I'm talking about, about details. So if we go back to the shaping tab and I turn this back down, this is what the body looks like without HD details. And this is a purchased thing. And this is with the HD details. So obviously buying shape morphs is kind of nice. This one came with this Vernon body type slider. Um, and because they're sliders, it's nice because you don't have to just turn it on or off. You could have it in between and, you know, customize it there. And then we can go in and, um, you know, change the body size and um, all the things that I just was talking about. Change height, change whatever. Um, there's so many custom options here. So it's, it's really pretty endless. Um, I don't know. We'll just go like that for the body. But um, I'm showing you this just because... Daz is confusing to navigate and I want you to know where things are located. So um, pay attention to these tabs. You've got parameters and you might want to up your mess resolution. Um, obviously this will be a heavier file when you export then, but um, for seeing some of these details, it's helpful to have that up. Um, and then yeah, shaping is where you will go in and change all the sliders. So again, these purple, pink background slider options are purchased ones that I have. Um, so this Vernon character was one from the Daz store, but, um, you do not have to buy shape morphs. I think it just gives you more options. So totally up to you, but yeah. So honestly, you can spend forever going through here, changing every little detail. Um, they have so many, so many things. It's, it's insane. I could spend three hours just going through this. It's like more than a Sims character creator. So uh, like, I mean, wrist size, who thinks about that? Wrist size, palm scale, like there's just nails length. I didn't even know that was an option and I've been missing that out till now. So that's what I mean. Like it literally is totally customizable and up to you. Um, so yeah, I'd recommend, I'd recommend some shape morphs just so you have extra options if you want them, but it is not necessary. So Enough of me explaining though. I'm gonna uh, speed through me customizing this guy a little bit and then I will be back to talk about posing some more. Oh, also, if you're bothered by the eyelashes because they're a bit big, you can just turn those off for visibility for now. Okay, so I think we have our guy character ready. Very standard bodybuilder looking guy. 
Um, lots of more detail though from where we started. So I think that's super fun. And one nice thing about Daz also is you can save uh, presets, like character presets every time you create one. So um, just click on your folder with your character, then go up to File, Save As, and then Character Preset. And I'm just gonna call this Mail Design 4. Hit Accept. And then it will save that in our character presets. So we have that here. And also wherever your camera is zoomed out um, is what the thumbnail will be. So if you wanna focus on, like if you mostly change the face, maybe you wanna be zoomed in on here before you save um, so that you can just see that easier in the presets. But um, I'm also gonna save our scene. Uh, character tutorial guy. Okay.